We turn to Sokoto State now, where the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission has warned residents against the activities of fraudsters who use the national identification numbers of unsuspecting persons to commit crimes. And the commission says it has surpassed its target of securing 50 convictions and that it is stepping up operations to curtail all fraudulent activities. Uh, we have been, uh, we have also seen how dubious elements are going to ATM machines. They come and pretend they are going to help you withdraw money, but they swap the cards and then while they are, they're, they're helping you, they're watching your pin. So they come back later and they clear your account. So we have been seeing a lot of that. Then the third most prevalent, I would say, is uh, stolen phones. Most of our accounts are attached to our phones now. You get your alerts uh, from your phone. You can easily check your balance from your phone. So people steal phones and sell it to uh, fraudsters that are specialized in this. And what they normally do is when they steal the phone, they look at your balance and then they transfer the account balances to a third-party account. So those are the three main ones that we're seeing here.